Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to today's class. Right, our topic today is uh, trigonometric ratios. Um, the mnemonic, the mnemonic used uh, to remember trigonometric ratio is so katwa. So ka twa. So this is the mnemonic used in remembering trigonometric ratios. Now what does this stand for? Alright. Well we're gonna look at it in relation to a right angle triangle. So whenever um, we talk about trigonometric ratios in terms of right angle triangles what should come to your mind is so katoa so just like we did for pythagoras theorem we have a b and c this is our angle so we can call this theta all right that's our given angle as we said in in pythagoras theorem this longer side is our hypotenuse the longer side is our what hypotenuse the side facing the given angle is our opposite the side facing the given angle is our opposite and the, this other side at the bottom is our adjacent take note this diagram this diagram can be flipped it must not be like this all the time okay the diagram could take different forms it could take this form it could take this form and this becoming the given angle all right if this is the given angle automatically this becomes your opposite all right and because this is the longer side this becomes your hypotenuse and this last side becomes your adjacent so just take note the diagram could be flipped just take note of where your given angle is the, the, the side facing it is your opposite the longer side is the hypotenuse and the last side is your adjacent so we're working on this we're working with this diagram right now okay so according to trigonometric ratio so katwa the, the key word here is the s the key words s then the C and the T. S stands for sine. The C stands for cosine. And the T stands for tangent. I believe you might have heard this before. All right. So, what, what do we need the S for, the sine for? When you are told to find sine of theta, sine of this angle that we are given, sine theta will be what? According to Sokatwa, look at it. According to Sokatwa, sine theta will be opposite over hypotenuse. So you come back here and write what? Opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? The next C is for what? C is for cosine. So cos theta will be what? What is cos theta? Cos theta is what? Look at it. Adjacent over hypotenuse. You write it. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Then what is our T? T is tangent. T is what? Opposite over adjacent. So tan theta is what? Tan theta is what? Opposite. Opposite over adjacent. If you can just know this, all your problems in... Um, elevation and depression will be solved once you know this key once you can remember Sokatwa 
you can remember where your hypotenuse is, where your adjacent is, and where your opposite. All your problems in um, elevation, angles of elevation, and angles of depression, you'll be able to solve them. All right. All right. The next thing we're going to be looking at: when are we going to use Socatois? When will you know that what I need to use at this time is Socatois? All right. How will you know when to use Socatois? Number one, you use Socatois. You use Socatois when you have an angle. You have an angle and two sides. You have an angle and you've been given two sides. Let's call these two sides X and Y. All right. You know that this this is a situation where you will use Socatois. Okay, when you have an angle and you be, and two sides have been mentioned. Now take note: these two sides mentioned, you might be given this side. You might be given this y as let's say maybe um, four four cm, and you are told to find x. You, they give you an angle. They give you one side and they tell you to find this side. Just know that you are going to use what socatoire. Also, what is number two scenario? When, what is the other situation where we can use Socatois? We also use Socatois when we have two sides. We have two sides. We can have two sides. Let's say here and here. We have two sides and are told to find the angle. You are told to find here. Told to find this angle. You use Socatua. So they can give you maybe 8 cm and 4 cm, and you are told to find this side. Just know that you are supposed to use what? Socatua. Do we understand? All right, let's look at our example one. In this example, we've been given two sides and an angle. So that tells you we are going to use Socatua. Now, which are we going to use? Let's find out how. So we have our hypotenuse. We have hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is what? 10 cm. This is the given angle. So this x is our what? Opposite. Alright? So in which situation do we have opposite and hypotenuse? In which situation do we have opposite and hypotenuse? It is what? So. It is so. That is where we have opposite and hypotenuse. So that's what we are going to use to solve this question. So we are using sine. And S stands for what? Sine. So sine theta. Sine theta. Theta is the angle, right? Is what? Opposite over the hypotenuse. So sine sine 30 degrees is equal to what? Opposite is what? Opposite is x and hypotenuse is 10. 10 cm. Alright? So what we're going to do next? Sine 30. Let's look for sine 30. So we are looking for sine 30. So take your calculator out. Put it on. Now you put on your calculator. Can you see sign? Look at sign right here. So you click on it. Sign 30. 3 0. Sign 30 is equal to what? Sign 30 is equal to what? Let's look at it. Sign 30 is equal to what? 0 0.5. We're going to come here. Sine 30 is what? 0 0.5. So we have 0 0.5 equal to what? X over 10 cm. Now, according to mathematics, we'll cross multiply. By the time we cross multiply, X will come this way. X will be equal to what? 0 0.5 times 10 cm. So X will be equal to what? 
x will be equal to 5 centimeters. So that's our x. That is example 1. Do we understand? All right, look at our example 2. Example 2, we have two sides and an angle, so we are using Sokatoa. This side is our hypotenuse, so we have hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, I'm abbreviating hypotenuse as hypo. We have hypotenuse as what? 10 cm. This is the, our given angle, so this is opposite. This tells you that this is what? This is our given angle. So the side facing the given angle is opposite. We're not giving any value. But we are giving value for this one at the bottom. So this is adjacent. Adjacent is what? X. So which, which in according to Sokatoa, which one has to do with hypotenuse and adjacent? Which one is dealing with hypotenuse and dealing with hypotenuse and adjacent? It is what? Car. Hypotenuse and adjacent. So we are using cos, therefore. C stands for cos. Cos theta, cosine. Cos theta will be what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. So we solve. Here, cos, the theta is 50 degrees. So cos 50 degrees, which is the angle, is what? Adjacent, which is x over 10 centimeters. Okay? All right, cos 50 degrees, if you use your calculator, let's use our calculator and let's see what cos 50 degrees is. I think it's um, 0 0.643, let's find out. So cos 50 degrees, cos 50 is what? 0. Point Six four. We can abbreviate it. This is seven, so we can approximate to become zero point six four three. So let's just say zero point six four three. Hope you know approximation. This this seven gives off one to empower this two to make it three. All right, zero point six four three. So that's the class cost fifty. All right. So so zero point six four three is equal to x over 10 cm so we'll cross multiply x will be equal to 0 0.643 times 10 cm x will be equal to what 0 0.643 times 10 is what 6.43 this becomes your answer so that's the value for this side 6.43 i hope you understand so these are our third and final example this is our third and final example we have a hypotenuse this is the given angle so it automatically here becomes opposite and here is adjacent so we have our angle opposite and adjacent so opposite is what 4 cm adjacent is x so, we have opposite and adjacent, that tells you we're using TOA, opposite and adjacent, so we're using TAN. So, we're going to say TAN theta, our formula, is what? Opposite over adjacent. So, TAN 60 degrees is opposite, see our opposite here, 4 cm over adjacent which is x all right so tan 60 degrees what's tan sorry what's tan 60 degrees tan 60 degrees let's use our should we use our calculator all right let's use our calculator so tan 60 this is tan here can you see it tan 60 times 60 times 60 degrees is equal to 1.7 all right so 1 1.7 let's write it there 
that's our tan 60 degrees so that will be equal to 4 cm over x we cross multiply all right we we'll cross multiply we have 1.7 x is equal to 4 cm so we'll make x is sorry the formula that is we we'll have to divide both sides by 1.7 so divide so you can write it divide both sides by 1.7 so we can have x so 1.7 over 1.7x over 1.7 times 4cm sorry equal to 4cm over 1.7 this will cancel this x will be equal to 4cm divided by 1.7 it will give you what 2.4 cm if you use your calculator so this becomes our answer do you understand look at your work critically all right this is your classwork look at it critically number one 8cm this is x this is 25cm over here we have 15cm 60 degrees and x here 8cm 45 degrees you have to find x so in these three questions questions find x all right submit your answer in our whatsapp page or online all right let me see how well you you do it have a nice day